Hi everyone, this is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, and today I'm going to be teaching you everything that you need to know uh, in regards to the brand new operating system for the Mac known as Mac OS High Sierra. So we're going to be going over the key changes and everything you need to know coming up next on TechTalkAmerica.com. The first thing I want to say is uh, I want you to remember that every video that I create is a snapshot in time. So I feel it important to note that today's date is the day after uh, Apple released the public version of uh, Mac OS High Sierra. So it's normal on day one for there to be bugs. And uh, that's why I've always told everyone who subscribes to our newsletter, you know, look, don't don't do this uh, unless you let it be out for a month, unless, you know, and if you do, expect that you're gonna find some problems. So um, on day one, um, yep, there's a couple of issues uh, that we definitely found, but I suspect they're gonna be all corrected soon, so I feel it kind of pointless to really bring them out. I just wanna say that if you're watching this and it just this video just came out, please know you're gonna probably wanna give it a month um, before you really dive into this. So check out what the new features are today and then come back when you need. Another thing I always remind folks before you upgrade to a new operating system is make sure that things like your printer scanners uh, are all compatible. And uh, usually it's just a simple Google search of Mac OS High Sierra compatibility and then the model name of your device, whatever it should be. So other the under the hood stuff, there's a lot of little changes. Um, and then probably the next most significant thing has to do with photos. So let's go over all the little changes first and then we'll cover photos. All right, folks, so uh, the first thing we're gonna start with here is Safari and there's really two very minor things that we're gonna go over. Uh, the first is if you go into Safari's preferences, you'll see we have this little tab here for websites and there's a new feature uh, where basically any websites that you go to that have videos, uh, you can choose whether or not they auto play. Uh, just a little reminder that the screen that you're viewing right now is from an account that I use purely for teaching purposes. I don't have the web browsing history that you're gonna have, so uh, you're gonna see a lot more options here. The next feature, also in Safari, and this is more than anything, this is just, again, stuff that happens under the hood, but I would recommend that you go here to the Privacy tab, and uh, I would recommend that you check these two top boxes to prevent cross-site tracking. That's sort of like where when you uh, search for something online and then you see it inevitably everywhere you go, uh, that's basically what that is. And also, I'd use the second option here that's just simply ask websites not to track me. The next feature, again, very minor here. Uh, if you go into Spotlight, which you can either do by hitting the little spyglass icon at the top right corner of your screen, or if you're fast like me, you can just do Command Spacebar. Uh, there's a new feature where now you can type in an airline and basically see the flight status. So for example, if I type in JetBlue 656, I think I just did this a moment ago. Okay, so I can see that that uh, flight is in route and it's going to be early. So if you have family members or friends who are flying in, uh, that's just a really easy, fast way that you can check on their flight status. The next feature I'm going to show you, um, I think some people are going to enjoy and others of you maybe not so much. You can probably guess which one mine is. It's not so much. Um, in Mail, there is a new feature where when you're running uh, the Apple Mail application in full screen mode and you go to reply, watch what happens it shifts the window over so that you can still kind of see the old email here while typing your response here. Um, this is nice, I guess, if you have to reference things here. I was just fine with minimizing it before. Um, so if you like it this way, this is the new default option. If you want to change it back to the old way, here's how you do it. You're going to go up to where it says Mail at the very top left, go into Preferences, and from there, in the General tab, you're going to simply uncheck this option at the bottom. Another minor update is if you're on a FaceTime call with someone, there will now be an additional button to be able to take a photo during the conversation. There are two new features that you'll find in the Notes app. The first is if you have a giant list of notes and you want to be able to pin one to the top, all you have to do is secondary click on it and you'll see that there's a new feature to make sure that that stays at the top. Another new feature is that now Notes has support for tables, which you can do by clicking right here. 
Moving on to photos, uh, the first uh, difference that you'll notice is that when you go into a photo and you go to edit it, you'll notice that here on the right hand side we have a slightly different layout and we have access to a few more tools. I have to say I do like this layout significantly better than the previous version, um, although a lot of them are the same. But you will notice here, for example, we now have the ability to adjust things like curves as well as levels. So if you really want to get in there uh, and fine tune things, you now have a little bit of a better ability to do that. Another little trick I'd like to give you is that now if you actually go to, um, if you you can't be in uh, editing mode, so let's hit done. Okay, but if you're in, uh, if you're just kind of in the photo library like this, and if you want to edit the photo using a different tool other than just what's ac accessible to you within photos, check this out. You can now secondary click and go to edit with and grab something like Pixelmator. Pixelmator and Affinity, by the way, uh, two very cool apps I recommend checking out. So, uh, don't know how to say this, but the last feature that I was going to show you all, um, I actually can't show you because it's bugging out right now on my computer. Uh, which is for those of you who, it's not a major thing, but uh, for those of you who shoot live photos, um, there's now a feature where you can edit the thumbnail. Again, th this is not any kind of a, a, a you know feature that I'm going to be crushed about if I can't access it. Um, but literally, that's it as far as the, the quote-unquote major changes that you're going to find in Mac OS High Sierra. Just remember, folks, don't shoot the messenger. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I want you to remember that all videos that we create are a snapshot in time, uh, so there can be changes and updates that come out. I will do my best to update the uh, notes section of this video, um, but um, what I'm really asking a lot of you out there to do is to contribute your own comments uh, in the comments section below. Um, and uh, to those of you out there who are watching this video after it initially comes out, keep in mind that comments are also a snapshot in time and that maybe someone who had an issue, maybe it was being caused by something else. So just consider where the information is potentially coming from. So thank you for watching everyone. Hit that like button, interact with us, leave a comment below. We will see you next time. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.